Hello, I'm Mike Weber and I'm a commercial artist. I've always had a fascination with art. I don't know where it came from. Uh, I, I drew as a kid, I, you know, I solved puzzles, I watched cartoons. That's probably where it came from. People are drawing pictures and, and making cartoons out of them. And I, I wanted to do that. I, I won a couple of contests in grade school and that just led on to other possibilities. There was, you know, friends of mine uh, in the uh, music industry, and they uh, they knew that I, I drew pictures, you know, through school and, and other associations. And they'd ask me to make uh, banners with their band name on it, or or paint a drum head, uh, album covers. Bumper, you know, logos for bumper stickers, and 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 that's what I did for a while. You know, I, I, uh, and that would lead into uh, small business signs and logos, and I uh, just progressed through that. I'm just watching TV one day, and and my niece had a uh, connect the dot puzzle book, you know, on the table next to me. And so I was just killing time, and I did one of these puzzles. I'm from Lockport, so I, you know, the biggest thing in town is the Lockport Locks. I thought that'd be a great subject for a puzzle. And, uh, you know, while I'm doing it, it's, uh, you know, what am I getting into here? Because I, I had a lot of dots. The puzzle contained uh, 10,389 dots. And I started to research, uh, you know, what was the largest puzzle. And that turned out, you know, so I was poking around the Guinness World Record uh, website, and they didn't even have a category for it. Uh, so that gave me the confidence to apply, and uh, they accepted it. And part of that was uh, hosting an event, a public event that the people could, uh, could witness uh, someone completing the puzzle live. I chose to do that at the Niagara County Fairgrounds. Uh, the 2016 season and it took about when I did the event live it took about seven and a half hours for my uh, uh, my witness to complete the puzzle. Uh, 2018 is when I got notified of my 2016 achievement. The Lockport one seemed to be a hit locally anyway but that led me to just create more puzzles of local stuff. Uh, so I did the, uh, the American Falls, and then uh, the Wurlitzer Organ at the Riviera Theater. So those are the two, three that I have uh, for that. A local charity approached me for another puzzle. That one's now completed too. Uh, Union Station in Lockport, that's old train station. They're, they're trying to restore that building. And they, uh, asked me to make a puzzle of the station. And then sales from, proceeds from the puzzle would go to the restoration efforts. When COVID hit, that was the, uh, you know, the art business dried up because nobody's working, nobody has a disposable income to, for artwork. Uh, then also the tourism business tanked, you know. Uh, that was the other thing I was doing. So I had nothing to do, and I knew nobody else, or everybody else, had nothing else to do. Uh, and I still wanted to promote the arts, still want to promote tourism. And the way to combine that was seemed to be a, a mural project. Uh, these murals were, uh, the designs promoted the local areas, within Niagara County. And then the artwork itself was a color by number image. And this allowed families and small groups to uh, visit each mural, you know, effectively touring the county. Uh, then the, the mural would give them the arts and craft part of it and spend some time with the family. I had to wrangle 12 artists and 12 municipalities and uh, paint and all the sign boards I had to build and paint. So there's a mural at Faulkner Park in Youngstown. There's one at Art Park in Lewiston, uh, town of Lewiston. There's uh, 
The Aquarium of Niagara has a mural for the town of Niagara. Then uh, Wheatfield, theirs is at the Carnegie Art Center. Cambria is here at NCCC. Wilson is at uh, Brownie's Ice Cream Stand. The new fame mural is in uh, the Village Gazebo off of Main Street. Then Lockport is at the Keenan Center. Pendleton is at Uncle G's Ice Cream. Uh, Royalton is at the uh, Gasport uh, Chemical Hose Fire Company. Uh, the mural in uh, Heartland is at Heartland Town Park. It's in under one of their uh, picnic shelters. And finally, uh, Somerset. That's in the village of Barker at uh, David Barker Park. I thought the, uh, having it as a, a color by number would, would create the interactivity that it, I wanted it to have. Each plaque has a number associated with it. It's based on the, the town's creation date. Uh, Cambria happens to be number one. It was the first town. All the other towns came from it. Uh, this section here talks about the uh, the date and the history of the town. And then below that is uh, artist information uh, about which artist painted the mural. Then we have uh, the color chart. This tells you what, when visitors arrive, uh, what numbers uh, correspond with each section of the mural. And then we have, uh, these are the other 11 locations uh, all around Niagara County. And then we have uh, the sponsors. And all the murals have chalk either on site or at a nearby uh, store, a uh, retail location. Um, but yeah, so that was the plan was to always have it uh, be a public activity. Yeah, the, the murals were designed to be color by numbered uh, with, with chalk because uh, it became a low maintenance thing that, that was attractive because when it rains, uh, the chalk washes away and, and someone else can, can start over again. I think the benefit that I get out of creating things is just, uh, because I'm a commercial artist, it's more about promotion. So I'm helping a small business uh, get something that they might have to pay four times as much to get from somebody else. It's not that I'm trying to be cheap or low cost, it's just that I recognize the value and the struggles that small businesses have. And I want to be available to help them get their message across, but also uh, provide those services that, are, that I think they need. They may not know they need them. Uh, so I'm just trying to, trying to help. Same with the tourism thing, same with the local band thing. Uh, it's just uh, the lifelong helping. And I'm using, trying to use my talent to do that.